One day, the continuous dripping from our shower head had gone from bad to worse. And upon closer inspection, I discovered that the shower head wasn't a problem. It was actually this dual shower faucet it was connected to that was causing the leak, particularly the handle that supplied water to the shower head. So I ordered this replacement, prepped the thread with Teflon tape, and began removing this old one. This was supposed to be an easy and simple job. But what I did not anticipate was that the faucet and the metal coupling it was connected to were so badly fused together by rust. Despite soaking the connection with WD-40 and using all my available tools, the faucet broke apart and left several portions of its stem stuck inside the thread of the metal coupling. Inspired by a handful of other YouTube videos, I tried using a grinding stone drill bit to carefully break down the pieces of the faucet stem stuck in the coupling thread. Well, that approach ended horribly, and I won't even bother showing you the footage. Because this is where a new faucet is supposed to go, I became so fixated on solving this one spot. It took a friend to look at the problem and suggest an easier and faster solution. He said, why not just make a new water pipeline? Okay, so first, I cut off a section of the old pipe right here. Because it's hugging the wall, it was easier to cut with this angle grinder instead of a hacksaw or a pipe cutter, which I don't have. I might as well clean the surrounding surfaces, which will be otherwise hard to access with a new pipe in the way. Now, the goal here was to rebuild this L-shaped pipeline that will hold our new faucet but this time using PVC pipes and fittings all throughout. I began by measuring all the pieces I needed, which I will be cutting off from the single 10-foot long, half-inch diameter PVC pipe, blue for water piping. This was more than enough for the job. I also needed three types of PVC connectors, a slip coupling to join two straight pipes, a 90-degree elbow to create a bend, and an adapter fitting where one end is a slip type and the other a female thread type. For a strong connection later on, I deburred the tips of the old and new pipes using a sandpaper, washed off the plastic grains and other contaminants, and made sure everything was dry. <laughs> to join all the PVC parts together, I used PVC adhesive. I simply dumped the tip of my pre-cut pipe into the can and slipped it into the coupling using a rotation motion. And of course, wiped off any excess adhesive with a piece of toilet paper. To apply PVC adhesive around the tip of the old pipe, I used a dry, clean rag, although a small paintbrush can also be used as an applicator. Now, since I'm using a quick-dry adhesive, I needed to connect the part snugly within 30 seconds. Otherwise, a flimsy connection will cause leaks. Okay, at this point, I needed a straight pipe just long enough so that the faucet will end up a few inches past the sill. So I measured, cut, deburred, and wiped. <music> to ensure that the faucet was going to angle in exactly the right way, I decided to join together the straight pipe, adapter, and faucet first, like so. which allowed me to make my final connection perfect. I then reconnected the shower head's flexible hose to our new dual faucet. Okay, flexible hoses usually come with a compression gasket so it's not necessary to wrap the faucet's thread with Teflon tape. 
Also, you should only tighten by hand to prevent over-torquing. Finally, it was time to open up our main valve to let water in. With the faucet closed, I then proceeded to inspect all the connections for any sign of leaking. I also did the same inspection while the water was running. And so far, so good. Even after a few hours later, when all the water has dried out, there's still no sign of leaking, which is great. This project has reminded me that there's always more than one approach to solve a problem. Sometimes we need to step back a bit and see the big picture. At other times, it takes a second pair of eyes to assess the situation from a different perspective. Regardless of the final solution, I'm glad we were able to recover from what initially seemed like a hopeless case. This is Handyman007 and I'll see you in the next video.